Let's have a look at sketching some parabolas. Please pause the video and try these on your own. Sketch the following graphs on separate axes. Clearly show any intercepts with the axes and the coordinates of the turning point. In number one, you are given the equation in the ax minus p squared plus q format, so you can simply read the coordinates of the turning point from the equation. The p-value is negative 3 and the q-value is negative 16. The x-intercepts are the points where y is equal to 0, so we substitute y for 0 and solve for x. If we add 16 to both sides and divide both sides by 4, we'll get 4 is equal to x plus 3 or squared. Take the square root of both sides. We need to introduce the possibility of a positive or negative solution. So therefore, x plus 3 is equal to positive 2 or x plus 3 is equal to negative 2. <coughs> Subtract 3 from both sides and we get our x-intercepts to be negative 1 and 0 and negative 5 and 0. The y-intercept is the point where x is equal to 0, so if we substitute x for 0 and calculate y, we get our y-intercept to be at 0 and 20. If we now plot those points on the Cartesian plane, we have our y-intercept at 20, our x-intercepts at negative 1 and negative 5, and our turning point at negative 3 and negative 16. If we connect those with the smooth curve, that is what the parabola will look like. <clears throat> Question 2. Y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. This graph, the equation, is not given in the form where you can read the intercept, the turning point uh, straight from the graph. So you first need to use your x equals negative b over 2a formula in order to calculate the x coordinate of the turning point. So it will be negative 5 over 2 times negative 2, and that gives you a x value of 5 over 4. If you now take 5 over 4 and you substitute it in place of x in the equation, you get the corresponding y value to be 17 over 8. So if we just write those as decimals so that we can see where they lie in the Cartesian plane, 5 over 4 is 1,25 and 17 over 8 is 2,125. The x-intercepts, the point where y is equal to 0, the challenge with this equation is that it does not factorize, so you need to use your quadratic formula in order to calculate the x values, and if you substitute into your formula and calculate the x, you get x to be 0, 2 or x to be 2, 3. The y-intercept is the easiest point to read off of this equation because it is the c value, so we can see straight away that the y-intercept is going to be at negative 1. So the points that we plot are 1, 2, 5 and 2, 1, 2, 5 for the turning point. The x-intercepts are 0, 2, uh, but you're part of 0, 2 and 0, and 2, 3 and 0. And the y-intercept is at 0 and negative 1. So if we just plot those points, there's the y-intercept at negative 1. The x-intercepts at 0, 2 and 2, 3. And the turning point is at 1,25 and 2,125.